Have you ever heard of a term called a back mouse? They are fatty lumps on your lower back that can be a cause of lower back pain and they are incredibly common. So common that I bet many of you have them. Yesterday I presented the case of a 31 year old female who came to my office with complaints of a lump on her lower back that was incredibly tender. She noticed it if she sat up against the back of a chair and particularly when she was doing workouts, when she was doing sit-ups and lying on her back. It became so painful that she could no longer perform these type of exercises. She tried taking over the counter anti-inflammatory medications and even went to a chiropractor without relief. Here is the MRI scan that she ended up getting on her lower back and you can visualize the episacral lipoma right here. Wait, I thought you said it was a back mouse. The medical term is actually called an episacral lipoma. Lipoma is typically a collection of fat that kind of grows out of control and it grows into a mass. Because the fat lies up under the skin in the subcutaneous tissue, that's where lipomas are typically felt. They are classically a rubbery but mobile type of tissue and it feels almost like a ball up under the skin. So why are they common here again? Episacral lipomas are classically along the superior iliac crest and they can happen on one or both sides. Here's a picture of a patient with two episacral lipomas and here's a drawing of a patient with many episacral lipomas. That's a lot of mice. They're common in this region and are felt to be caused by a tear in the thoracodorsal fascia or the muscle fascia in our lower back right here that's circled in blue. If you twist or lift something heavy, you can injure the muscle fascia and cause a tear. That will then allow the dorsal fat pad to herniate through that tear and cause these lipomas. Because they are trapped in the fascia, they can actually become painful to touch. And over time, they can even get bigger and cause more symptoms. So what do we do about them? MRI, like I showed you in the beginning of this video, is typically unnecessary because it's a clinical diagnosis and you can confirm that diagnosis by injecting local anesthetic into the spot. And if it cures the pain, you know you've got your answer. Most of the time, an anesthetic injection into the lipoma can cause the pain to go away. But if it recurs or continues to be a problem, surgery may be an option. As with most things that are associated with back pain, anti-inflammatory medications and physical therapy may also help. If all of those things fail, surgical resection of that fat globule may prove to be curative. In this case, I can actually vouch as a patient because I had surgical resection of a 13 centimeter back mouse performed on me when I was in neurosurgical residency. An incredibly painful nodule on my lower back and I could no longer exercise because of the pain that it caused me. Remember, you don't need referral to a spine surgeon for these types of lesions and often they can be removed by a general surgeon or even a plastic surgeon. I had a general surgeon remove mine. Back to our patient, she tried and failed conservative treatment, had hers injected that gave her temporary relief and went on to have this surgically excised with definitive treatment of her pain and it's not come back since. Another case of patient focused and compassionate care. I hope you guys learned something on this one. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.